رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد النبي الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Welcome again to the stories of the prophets and we have explained the situation before the creation of Adam Today we will start with how Adam was created In many sayings of the prophet also mentioned in the Quran the details of this creation It is clearly stated that Adam was created from a handful of dust from earth. This handful from dust was brought to God by the angels from the different parts of earth. Earth has a variation of colors of sand, white, red, black, brown, etc. And so on. And that is why also humans have several colors since God created them from a handful, from not one part of the earth, but from many parts of the earth. Also, sand and land have different characteristics. Tough, easy, loose, hard, and so on. And also the characteristics of humans can be related to that. And many scholars talk about that the differences in humans in shapes and sizes and personalities and colors and characteristics are due to the variations of the Earth's colors. So that is the origin of human natures. This creation started from dust, which was... Now, I, I want to explain to you, when you read the Quran, also in many places in the Old Testament and so on, you'll see that he was, Adam or humans were created from dust. In another place, you'll see from as, uh, clay. In another place, you, you see from uh, other shapes. So what is it? Is it dust or clay or what is it? It's explained clearly in the sayings of the Prophet. It's the stages of creation that we're talking about here. The creation started from dust, collected from different parts from earth. And then it was wetted and became clay. So that's why you see some verses of the Quran saying that man was created from dust, while you see other verses that say that he was created from clay. And the Quran says, Behold, your Lord said to the angels, I am about to create a man from clay. What is clay? It's wet dust. And when wetted some more, the clay becomes sticky and binds. And also the Quran mentioned that. This is the next stage. It was wetted even more and became sticky and binds. The Quran says, just ask them, are they the more difficult to create or the other beings we have created? Them, humans, we have created out of sticky clay. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God glory to him, molded this human being from this sticky clay, God did that with his own honorable hands. It was not the work of angels or anyone else. It was God himself who shaped Adam with his own hands. In the Quran, God says to Satan, O oh, Iblis, Iblis is the name of Satan in Arabic, O oh, Iblis, what prevented you? from prostrating yourself to the one whom I have created with my own hands. So, Adam was given the honor of being shaped with the hands of God. He did not, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, did not assign or delegate this creation to the angels. This is an honor to human, human beings. And then, like sculptures or pottery are shaped it he was shaped and this clay this sticky clay was left for a while until it dried and became hard and if you touch it or knock on it it would sound when hitting so uh, during also that uh, period that the clay started to da darken and blacken so it dried and blackened 
as if it contained some traces of ashes in it. You know, uh, the dark uh, thing that is left after fire. So that's how it looked. God says, we created man from sounding clay, from mud molded into shape. So it's, it's all there in the Quran. So there are no contradictions between the, very, the various verses because they are talking about the different stages of the creation of Adam. That's one of the reasons, by the way, I am I'm giving you the, the stories of the prophets. When you understand the stories of the prophet, then you will understand so many verses of the Quran. The Quran really will be understood clearly when you understand the stories of the Prophet. Part of the Quran at least will be understood when you understand these stories. Um, so this is the, the how the uh, Quran explains how Adam, peace be upon him, was created. In the another verse, he created man from sounding clay like unto pottery. Because again, pottery is dried clay. clay. And he, that was shaped, and man was created from sticky uh, clay that was shaped and left until it dried, so it became like pottery. So, these are the stages where Adam went through. Now, according to uh, a hadith, a saying of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, narrated by many scholars, Adam was about 60 hands lengths tall. A hand length is, uh, some scholars say, about 50 centimeters, some say 40 centimeters. So we're talking about 30 meters tall and in uh, about 7 meters wide or so. So he was a giant of a human. He was a giant. There are many sayings that point to this exactly, that the human race has been created as huge and it has grown shorter and shorter ever since. The tallest creature ever created was Adam. The, the tallest human created was Adam. And everyone else who came after that becomes shorter. So, now they look for the um, evolution theory, they look for the missing link and uh, different creatures and they find things that are tall and so on. Again, it's very clearly stated that, uh, that Adam and the generations that came after him were much larger than ours. So Allah created Adam and he left him to dry for a while without a soul, without a spirit. He was not living yet. Satan, Iblis, was very curious. What is this? Something new. Now remember, the angels were created from light. The jinn were created from the tip of a flame. Totally different natures. Now this is created from mud. What is this? And they they have the ability not to be seen because of these, these natures they were created from. But this, this is something physical. Iblis was very curious, Satan. So he started to go, and the angels were very scared also from, from Adam. Everyone kept a distance. The first one to come close to Adam was Satan, Iblis. He curiously circled this new creature wondering what it is, why God created this. Then Satan discovered by going through the mouth of Adam. Uh, God has created Adam with all the internal organs, everything. So he went through and he has this ability because of his nature as being created from fire to do this. He went through the mouth of Adam and went all the way and got out from the bottom. He saw this is a hollow creature. 
So he went to the angels. He said, don't be afraid. This was weak. He's a f he is a hollow. There's, there's emptiness within him. There's a cavity inside him. It's not like the jinn or the angels. So don't be afraid. It's, he's weak. In a saying of the Prophet, Adam was left lifeless without a soul for 40 nights. During that time, Satan came close and went through him and then he was, nothing happened to him, so he was not afraid of Adam anymore. And then he started to hit Adam and a sound would come out because of this clattering sound like when you hit empty jar made out of pottery. And that sound scared Iblis. And uh, the angels also passed around him. That is before the soul was breathed into him. While he was just dried, sh shaped in the form of a human. And everyone was fearful of Adam. And then Iblis, Satan, faced this lifeless Adam and said, you are certainly made for a certain reason. I don't know what. And he started to investigate, going through him, hitting him. And he was wondering what it was. He, he, was, he was pleased. Satan was pleased with his status with God. He was raised to be with the angels. Now this is someone who was going... Might, might be able to challenge his status, might be even more honorable than him. So he wasn't clear why Adam was created. He was fearful for his status with the angels. This is, this is one, someone else besides him who is not an angel now in heavens. But he's weaker than him because he's hollow. And he's weaker than him because he's made out of mud and Iblis, Satan, was made out of fire, and fire is stronger than, than mud. So, the, hate, the hatred of Satan to Adam started. After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam in his physical form, through the different stages that we mentioned, and he left him, as we said, without a soul, and we saw how Satan started to fear and hate him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the order to the angels and also a specific order to Satan, Iblis, who was with the angels, who was not an angel, but was with the angels. Specific order to him, when I breathe life into Adam, you must prostrate to him. That is the order. Now, Iblis, Satan was so angry with this order. His doubts became definite now. This creature will become more honorable to God than him. He has been there worshiping God with the angels, doing no sins at all. And now a new thing comes and becomes better than him. And he has to prostrate to this new creature. So he was boiling with anger and hatred and envy. But the order was given by God. In the saying of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he gives us the details of the breathing of the spirit into Adam. God breathed the spirit from the top to the bottom. The spirit started with his head and entered through this head until it reached his eyes and he saw heavens and the fruits of heavens and then it reached his nose and mouth and he sneezed and the angels told him to say Alhamdulillah thanks to God. So he immediately said, Alhamdulillah. 
He obeyed. He doesn't. He was created with a good nature. So he obeyed. And Allah said to him, God said to him when he said thanks to God, he said, may God have mercy on you. So from the beginning, Allah said that I will have mercy on you. When he saw the fruits of paradise, he started to think about these fruits, but doesn't know what it is. When the spirit and the soul reached his stomach, he carved for these fruits. He wanted to eat. So he started to move. But his feet are not alive yet. But, but he lusted already for food. And he jumped, wanted to move. But he couldn't move because his feet are not alive. And when, his, when the spirit reached his legs, he hurried towards the fruits in paradise. This explains Allah saying in the Quran, man is a creature of haste. He didn't even wait. From the beginning, he wanted these pleasures. So, when Allah created Adam, he rubbed on his back. And from that came the descendants of Adam from these very tiny atoms in the back of Adam all the descendants of Adam, all humans that, that are to come, came alive and were formed into humans. This is in the beginning. All of us were there. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God, glory to him, talked to us, to all humans throughout time. He said, I am your Lord. I am your God. Do you witness to that? And they said, yes. He said, some of you on the day of judgment will say, we forgot. But that will be your nature. So it is the nature from the beginning that God has put into humans the nature of believing in, believing in God and worshipping God and believing in God alone. They testified, and then he returned them back into the back of Adam. So, this explains why throughout history, people look for a God. They, they were created with the nature of worshipping a God. And if there are no interference on any human being by Satan or other humans, his nature would lead him to believe in Allah, to believe in God. But it is these effects that lead people astray. So Adam was created and Allah breathed his spirit directly into him. And that is another honor for Adam. He was created by God with the hands of God and breathed soul and spirit by God directly into him. And the order was given to the angels, now you prostrate to Adam. And please, please, Satan, you prostrate to Adam. Now this prostration is not a prostration, not sujood of worship. It's a sujood of honor. It is allowed according to the messages before us that people would make sujood, prostrate to each other. Joseph, Yusuf alayhi salam, the great prophet, his father and mother and his brother prostrated to him. It's an honor thing. Now in Islam, it is not allowed. No prostration of honor anymore. No prostration of worship and no prostration of honor except to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the order prostrate in honor of Adam was given to everyone. Everyone of the angels prostrated to Adam. They cannot sin. They cannot disobey God. Now the only one who has a choice among them was Iblis, Satan. And he did not prostrate. That was the first sin ever. 
the first one to do disobey Allah, to disobey God. No one else disobeyed God before that in heavens. There was disobedience on earth, but on heavens there was no disobedience at all. Now Iblis was given the honor of being in heaven, and now he disobeys God. That was the start of the greatest enemy to humans, Iblis. What went on after that, the story of Adam with Iblis, and the story of Adam with Eve, is our next story, inshallah. Until we meet, I leave you with peace. May Allah bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.